Hey, welcome to your Soul Self Check. I'm Lori, and this week we're going to be doing a little mini workshop on self love versus self care. Two things that people think are the same and are synonymous, but they really aren't. So, you know, a lot of people confuse the idea of self care and self love being synonymous. They are not, they are two entirely different things. Self-care definitely is a part of self-love, but on its own, it is not self-love. It is not the vehicle in which you find self-love. It is definitely something that you use to maintain and grow and show yourself self-love. So the thing about it is when we think about self-care, we tend to think about ourselves from the physical aspect. So make a list and check off the things that you would consider self-care. Making sure your hair is done, your nails done, you know, your skin is on point, you're exercising, so your body is healthy on point. You are, you know, exfoliating and waxing and dressing well and getting your nails done and eating well and sleeping well. Most of our self-care habits are centered around our physical body. Well, the truth is we are a spiritual soul having a physical experience. And so what we need to do when we are just talking about self-love is it's an inside out job. It's the idea that in order to find the love of self, the work to be done has less to do about what you look like and the condition of the outside, but the thoughts and the ideas and beliefs you are telling and believing about yourself that affect you from the inside. So self-care is about, yes, taking care of yourself. Self-love is, yes, about loving yourself. But let's take a look at what self-love looks like. Okay, so raise your hand if you're not exactly sure what is meant by self-love. And if your hand is up, you are not alone because self-love, like every other kind of love, is an abstract concept. And so we look at our relationships and our experiences to try to understand it in a concrete way. So here are a few things how self-love manifests itself in your everyday life. So self-love means that you're open and honest with yourself about yourself. And that means you are understanding that your strengths are just the gifts that you have to give to the world and your weaknesses are just strengths that are yet to be developed. That you accept yourself without conditions, that you respect yourself, your values and your choices. And this is a huge area where we fall down in self-love that we acquiesce our desires and our wants and what we really believe and value for those of other people because we're afraid if we say what we want, if we, be, if we are who we want to be, then they want, won't want us. So it's also about appreciating yourself and knowing your worth and value. Self-love manifests, manifests itself in the kindness and compassion and affection you show yourself. Those same things that you show other people, but most importantly, you want other people to show you. That when you're feeling those things for yourself and supplying them for yourself, you know that you are tight in the self-love department. So what's it, how does it manifest itself when it's a lack of self-love? Well, the feeling that you need to be better than others so that you judge yourself and others. So you're judging people to know where you stand. Am I better? Am I worse? And then that impacts how you feel about yourself. It's conditional on, your self-love is conditional on certain outcomes or how you look or how you feel. It's dependent on the opinions of others. And it's the needing, and this is the biggie biggie, the needing of validation and proof from other people that you are worthy, that you are lovable, that you are deserving. And it also can show itself as being dependent on what you have, what you do, or the people that you surround yourself with to show your worth. 
So those are kind of some of the ways, the important ways that self-love manifests itself in our lives. So now you know the difference between self-care and self-love and that self-care is an important part of loving yourself, but really self-care is more of an outside job where self-love is absolutely more of an inside out job. Remember, as always, you are love and you are loved, so act like you know it.